Over 1.2 million of you watched my adventure with this. I just noticed my second best friend right here came from the three rotor, which was stored at your house. Okay, okay, slick. I addressed the problem head on, but I didn't solve it fully, which is kind of the story of my life. I sent those four spiders off to Spider Farm, or Spider Heaven, or Spider Hell, or even Spider Purgatory, or whatever, whatever your beliefs are. The spiders are there. I would have transplanted them back outside, but are you really going to take a venomous spider and try and coddle it, and then try and re replace it, and then have it just simply show back up and try and reclaim what it thinks it is its home? No, bad idea. Today, I am going to solve the problem fully. Why? Oh, no, no big deal. Only two or three more showed up. A straight up infestation on my hands. I am having no luck with spiders, or I'm having tons of luck. Maybe this is, this is a good sign. They're, they're protecting me for something way worse. Worse yet, look what I found on the door of my garage. <laughs> What the hell? This is, this is how the movie legitimately goes. I saw one of them, didn't think anything of it, that was like a mothball or, or God knows what. They multiplied. Something is going wrong, and it is my solutions and my approach to the problem. I need to do this a little bit more thoroughly. In this case, I'm going to be using the most simple processes for solving my spider problem, kind of taking it from Chris Fix's, who's a good friend of mine, Chris Fix's sort of playbook. Simple is best. So we're gonna try basically the old wives tales approaches and then go if at worst Over to the chemical bomb sort of nuke your whole garage and get cancer in the process But no, we're gonna stick to the simple stuff right now. I am a live and let live person But they aren't and that means war step one. I've read somewhere online. This could be an old wives tale that because of how thick that a black widow's web is, it takes so much more energy for that spider to create it. It's often said that once the black widow's webs are destroyed, they don't have enough energy to make them anymore. If that really is the case, then these spiders made a huge mistake building their webs on this car, because the guy that owns this car is one of the most petty mother on this planet. Slightly for the entertainment aspect, and partially because I'm morbidly curious, I'm sure I killed the, the one spider that laid the groundwork for all this. It is very, very thick. Something that I don't get the compliment of other than how fat my butt is. But look at, at how, look at that web. So at least there seems to be some truth to the first wife's tale that this web is very durable. Like this is, this could be made into a shirt with like just about five fibers. Honestly, because of how thick the web is, it's not as creepy to me. I'll, I'll be grossed out off camera, I'm not going to lie. But this isn't like wispy and, oh god, something's in my hair. It's more so like pulling like yarn. The eviction crew is here and I am kicking your asses out. I'm just hoping that uh, doing this isn't like knocking on their doorbell saying, hey, there's dinner time. That's enough playtime for me. While doing that is really satisfying my morbid curiosity, I am genuinely terrified of these spiders coming out of this car. I saw one yesterday. So that said, I'm using these really thick gloves this time to get into the areas that, uh, well, I could die. Uh, he's just like probably waiting up there just like, what, 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 you, <laughs> you're screwing up my house? That's not cool with me. It's all over these wheels. It's all over my brake caliper. Yeah, good luck with that one. That was a dumb idea. Survival of the fittest spider on that. It's all over in here, all over here. For some reason, they love my wheels. I don't blame them. They're really light, <laughs> useful wheels. But that is a, oh, Jesus. That is a hell of a lot of spider webs under there. Those are all the ones that I can see from the outside. But as I was just made aware by looking, they're all deep in here and again my glove only goes so far and these spiders are not getting any love without that longer glove i'm gonna have to come up with step two not only am i petty but i am also pretty impatient particularly related to poisonous spiders venomous spiders in my living garage space what we're gonna do now is skip this step two because i don't have time for them to pack their things deliberate about where they're gonna move no we're evicting your little asses right now. The next step is good old WD-40. 
I'm gonna use what looks like an air horn can and uh, we're gonna see how this works in a second. I, like I said, I picked it up over at Lowe's, WD-40. Big blast. We're going to utilize this, not in the sense of lubricating the vehicle, but delubricating and delifing the spiders. Apparently, either it trips them up or whatever the case is. WD-40 is basically fish oil in so many senses. They don't tell you their magic formula, but people have tried to reverse engineer it and it ends up being fish oil. Once uh, the four rotor is all done, this bad boy is getting the treatment. Oh, I put the bumper on after the car got back here. Here's the real question. What is under here? Yep. Ah, f okay, Well, they are very much alive and well under my car. Seeing that one still alive makes me realize that there are steps that do not work. And here are a couple more steps that do not work. Reverse psychology. This warms my heart that you're here. As simple as it sounds, just spray WD-40 on the spiders, and I'm assuming the web itself. We have a specimen right here, and while I'm not a huge fan of showing spider death, this seems more like a spider meat god. <laughs> this, is, this isn't supposed to torture any little critters. This is just literally meant to eradicate the problem. And you can see that dot right there. To save that poor male from a, a life of one time of sex and then getting eaten by your female partner, which uh, I would kind of trade for at the moment, uh, I'm going to instead douse him in fish oil and see if that is either going to affect him or the web. All right, uh, I've simply pissed him off. Oh God, he doesn't appear to be uh, dying. Oh, he, no, he fell to the ground. Wow, that actually really is a good solution. Oh, no, no, that, that is not a good solution. He is just angry. Because he's angry, I now have to resort to DEFCON 3, which is beautiful. Time is of the essence. Here we go. <laughs> This is probably, for any of you that are under 18, this is probably one of the coolest parts about being an adult. You can go to Lowe's and buy a torch. Nobody asks you why, you don't need, at least uh, maybe I look old enough, you don't need identification. You literally can just walk out of there with a propane torch. Elon Musk was selling that overpriced one, but let's be honest, this is way more functional and way more cool. Well, sub step one, put the torch on the included barrel tank thing. So we're gonna tighten this on here like that. <laughs> Spin the knobby thing, not towards off, but towards, oh, I hear it. <laughs> I figured, you know what? Maybe I'm doing the WD-40 thing wrong, maybe. Maybe I'm not applying it in the correct state change that it needs to be in. Let's do it. Let's just do it. I'm lighting it on fire. We all know where I'm going with this. <laughs> this is a vehicle that has another sort of accelerant inside of it. We're avoiding those areas, but these spiders really do need to die. <laughs> You guys can roast me as much as you want in the comments. This is very bad to show kids, but I am thoroughly entertained. And isn't that the point of this video? You could go and bug bomb it or whatever, but let's say this is more of the holistic send them back to hell format into properly getting rid and uninviting black widows. So I'm realizing there is a downside to this and no, it's not catching your car on fire. That's kind of collateral damage. It's that it leaves a film of unburnt fish oil or WD-40 all over the floor that you're gonna to have to ultimately clean up at some point. <sighs> Horrible. Well, at least it doesn't catch the stuff on the ground on fire. I feel like we're also pretty safe back here considering that flamethrower is just about as potent as this is, albeit it comes out the back of the car.
Adios, spider bitches. I'm gonna be 100% honest with you. This is probably the most effective use of WD-40 in the history of all the billions of uses of WD-40. I wish this was a video sponsored by them because I'm making them look really good while I burn my place down. The fact is, it's the accelerant or it's the aerosol that is flammable in here and it's the fish oil or whatever the main ingredient is in it that actually still sticks after it's shot out of the cannon. So you not only get the heat, the flames, the spider torture, but you also get the staying power of the fish oil to stick and then kill anything that's remaining. Both are very effective, extremely effective. So I would say that this is definitely a pass for me. The only downside is those spiders hiding near fuel components, their days are numbered. I'm sweating from all this and I can't tell it's because of all the heat that was in my face or it makes me that excited. The oil component doesn't really ignite, so I'm coating these beautiful wheels in anti-rust quality type material. I'm trying to make this as scientific as possible. Let's be real, is this an effective way of killing spiders? Yeah, it is. It really is an effective way of killing spiders, especially when you want to inflict the fear and anxiety that the spiders have inflicted upon you. You can be damn sure that this solves a couple problems in one. If you have loved ones that care about you or loved ones in the same uh, probably zip code as you, I would not recommend this. And if you're a pyromaniac, uh, not a good idea because the erection you'll have while you're working on flames is a really bad idea. <laughs> could get in the way. I'm just saying, it could get in the way. Oh, I forgot about the egg sacs over on the door. This is Aliens 2. Aliens. There. Oh, it worked! Holy shit, it really worked! That really did work. I purposely did not spray the WD-40 all under my entire car because I didn't know if the liquid itself was flammable or what was gonna happen. That's all I need is like a NOS scene from the very first Fast and Furious to just light the whole car up and then uh, have to replace a new ceiling. But I am going to coat the rest of the bottom of the car with good old WD-40. And I think our odds of spider survival dropped to zero.